webinar over to you. Well, thank you, Annie. Um, I am so excited to introduce our webinar panel today. Um, we're going to go ahead and start off with Ms. Karen Schwartz with Time Matters. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the group. Good afternoon to those on the East Coast. Um, good morning to those in other time zones. Uh, my name is Karen Schwartz. I am an associate of 3545 Consulting Group. We provide support on a wide variety of products to a large number of industries. My particular focus is the legal and professional services firms and billing, accounting, and practice management software, um, which I work extensively with, and that includes Time Matters and the associated billing component of Billing Matters. And I am the author of a Billing Matters QuickBooks white paper on how to do the link and also a book on using QuickBooks in a law firm. All right, our next panel member today is Deborah Schaefer or Debbie. Um, Debbie, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi everybody, my name is Deborah Schaefer. I am a CPA and I specialize in the installation of accounting systems for uh, small to medium sized businesses and professional offices. The primary focus of my practice is law firms. I've been doing this for the past 32 years actually at this point. I represent a wide range of products as you can see from the slide above. Um, I am a sole practitioner, although I do have a staff. Um, I work for myself. The name of my firm is Deborah J. Schaefer CPA. Um, and that's basically who I am. I've done white papers on year-end processes, on accounting, and um, as I say, I do specialize on the accounting portion of the uh, law office, but that does also include practice management. Wonderful. And Catherine, would you please inter introduce yourself? Uh, we have Catherine Coviello, um, and tell us a little bit about you. Sure. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Catherine Coviello, and I'm the firm administrator at a law firm in New York City by the name of Clifton, Budd, and Di Maria. We're a 25-person law firm concentrating in labor and employment on behalf of management. Um, we have been, uh, I'm here today to talk about Juris, and we have been using that product since the mid-90s. So it's evolved pretty much from DOS to Windows. Uh, and anything else that it, it's beginning to combine. Um, so um, that's who I am. Wonderful. Well, uh, as we get started, would you all go around? Um, well, you know what? We'll start. Uh, I know, Catherine, you just told us how long you've used the product. Um, tell If everyone could tell us how long they've used their product, as well as kind of why you chose it, and what challenges you were trying to solve. Catherine, we'll start with you this time. Sure. Um, well, in the early 90s, we needed we had a proprietary billing system that uh, kind of went out of business, and so all of a sudden we were faced with trying to find a billing system. We were too small for you know the smaller ones and not big enough for the bigger ones. And when we looked at Juris, it fit our needs because it, at the time it really was for you know law firms who were maybe around 50 timekeepers. Um, and so we were, and we wanted something that uh, we would be, would have the timekeepers, um, the staff at that time, not anymore, but at that time, be able to enter time right into the time and billing system, which we weren't able to do prior to bringing Juris in. So we brought the Juris core product in, and um, we also had it integrate, at the time you were using real world on the financial side because we had no financial accounting either. Uh, everything was done manually. So we brought the both, we brought the whole package in and it uh, accomplished quite a bit at, at the time. DOS-based system, and we have now uh, obviously moved on quite a bit. Wonderful. Um, we'll check in with Debbie next. Uh, tell us a little bit about how long you've uh, worked with PC Law and a little about the product and the challenges you were trying to solve. So um, when I started to work for myself, I had worked for several very large accounting firms and their consulting and computer audit divisions. Um, when I decided to open a practice on my own, 
I one of my very first clients happened to have been a law firm and at the time there used to be industry shows for software and hardware. It was a very long time ago and the industry was just emerging. Uh, PCs were still floppy disk drives driven. There weren't even hard disk drives and so I came across the two of the four original owners of PC Law and the product was just about a year young. Um, I was attracted to the product because it was a comprehensive solution to time billing and accounting for law firms. Um, from the onset, everything was integrated. It was not module based. Um, it was written based upon something called a one write system. Uh, anybody who's old enough to remember that would know. Debits and credits yeah. <laughs> worked. I loved the system because there were audit trails in place. Every change of every transaction I could audit. Um, and for accounting purposes, I found it to be quite complete for a law firm. So I stuck with the product and again, uh, similarly, it was originally a DOS-based product. They moved obviously into Windows and then the product was acquired by LexisNexis about eight or nine years ago. So um, during the alumni computer days when the product was um, emerging, the owners of the product were very, um, uh, they, they were anxious to satisfy all the requirements of all their customers. So the c product was always emerging, they were always adding new features and I found that very attractive and I just was able to develop more and more law firms as a result of the product. Wonderful. All right, uh, we'll move on to Karen. Uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about how long you've used Time Matters, um, about the system itself and, and the challenges you were trying to solve with it. Yeah. Well, I've been using Time Matters for somewhere between 15 and 18 years, not exactly sure. Um, but I found that a lot of my clients were using it for managing their practice and I, because I was working with um, a lot of firms that were in the legal market and were using and were looking for practice management solutions I started off on the billing and accounting side of things and my law firm clients were using Time Matters and so I decided I needed to be able to offer them support for it and I started looking at it and using it um, so I started because it was meeting my clients needs and what I liked about it was the ability to customize it and the flexibility that it offers so even though I was not a lawyer I could do a lot of work in it and use it to manage my own practice and best address my clients needs and it's added a lot of features over the years uh, it didn't originally have an extensive billing component which it does now and it does a really good job of meeting the needs of the clients for doing generating their bills. But its real strength is in the practice management and document assembly, managing your their documents, managing the calendar, and all of the components that a law firm needs in order to run their day-to-day -day practice and know what's going on and communicate between the members of the firm, which is what I really like. And no matter what area of practice they are in, even if it's multiple areas of practice, we can add in the fields and the functions that they need for that specific practice area. Wonderful. Well, one of the uh, things we hope to do with this uh, panel webinar today is talk about some of the different ways you guys use your product. Um, tell us about your favorite feature of the product. And Karen, let's go ahead and start with you again. Okay. Um, well, let's see. I think my favorite, one, probably one of my favorite features of the product, and I have a lot, but I would say one of my favorites is the power views. Um, power views give you a way to see an awful lot of the information about a matter or a contact without opening up the record and drilling down. So, and I can have different power views and the power views can be customized for the individual firm. But so right from, so I can just kind of highlight a record. I don't have to open it and spend a lot of time clicking around, but I can easily see 
the work that's been done or the information on my main contact or the uh, upcoming appointments or all of the documents and then get to the documents. So it really saves a lot of time by using the power views because I don't have to drill down and click around. I can get to my uh, data more quickly which makes it faster to respond to client calls and do my work and also helps to reduce a little bit the chances of carpal tunnel from doing too much clicking. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I know we all good. need to avoid the carpal tunnel. All right, uh, let's, Debbie, you uh, go ahead next. Okay, the features that I like most about PC Law is that it's a fully integrated solution. So you enter your data in one place and it carries through all of your law firm management needs. So PC Law has billing, it has accounting, it has practice management, you know, which includes calendaring, uh, document management. And I like the fact that as you work within the program, you're able to see everything about your clients in one place. You don't have to switch between applications. You don't have to enter your accounting one place and your billing another place. And so with that, with that fully integrated solution, you're not only able to reduce your data entry, which reduces the errors, but also to um, reconcile and balance the information in the system because you always know it's complete when everything is reconciled. I think that the product itself allows a, man a law firm to better manage their practice, whether that be through practice management features, calendaring, etc., or whether that be through financial things. Um, I find that law lawyers are very good at practicing law. They've gone to school, they've learned everything there is about law. One of the things that the law firms unfortunately seem to forget is that most of the lawyers are going to become business people. And I find that PC Law gives these lawyers tools that they would not necessarily know to look for mm -hmm. or to to use that allows them to better manage their practice and that's not just printing a financial statement and seeing that you made money but it's actually drilling down further and finding out which matters are making you money which lawyers are making you money you know who how are people performing how are our client you know how are your cases internally performing and i think that as firms start off it's not what they think about they're more worried about managing their cases entering their time and billing and it's over an extended period of time that they then realize that these other components are very important for them. So I, I think that it's the integrated solution and the ability to get information to better manage the practice that I like most about PC Law. All right, wonderful. Um, Catherine, tell us about your favorite feature. Well, my favorite, well, I have many with Juris, but the Juris Suite side um, is one of the uh, features that uh, we like very much, especially for entering time. Most of our attorneys here enter their own time, and it's live. It's not like on the Juris side where you have to post and then see what's going on. So it's uh, up-to-the-minute uh, information, which also uh, can be used as a management tool to see um, who's doing what. There is a feature on there called the heat map which lets you set up targets for billing and um, it enables us to see what areas and what kind of capacity we have with respect to attorneys. And again managing the business as to who's doing what, who's working on what, especially when it, you hire new attorneys out of law school and they're a little bit uh, green about entering time and putting it in the right place. It also enables you to bill on the flies Time is in, it's up to the date, it's up to minute, and you can bill at any point of time during the month um, because we make sure that all time is entered and submitted every day. That, that's a very strict rule we have, one of the only rules we have here, but it's a very strict one. So I like that Juris Suite side of it, and also the reporting side. It enables the, we can now manage our own reports, do our own reports, create our own reports on a simple level. And the management attorneys here who look at these reports on the executive committee now can go in and pull these reports. We can distribute them automatically. So it's become a very important management tool for us 
in, in managing our business. All right, wonderful. All right, we're going to dig in a little more. Uh, tell us how exactly you use the software and utilize it in your business, um, and what features you utilize the most. We've talked about your favorite, but now you know this is a chance to get a little more in depth. Um, so we're going to just go backwards again and kick it off with Catherine. Well, we we have a collection module now that we use with your suite, which has been an incredible. Uh, feature for us, we can now centralize our collection ability uh, in one place where every, well, who we give it to, but uh, especially the people on the executive committee can see um, our collection efforts on behalf of our clients, which is always a big challenge in law firms. Attorneys don't like to collect money for some reason. Um, and so we now are able to produce statements and uh, emails and letters and templates and put it in a history in one file so that anyone who has access to it, who we give access to, can see what our collection efforts are um, without having to say, did you call? What did you do? When was your last conversation? We don't have to reprint bills. We don't have to go back and forth between the client tables. It's all in one space and it's been an incredible tool that we've been able to use to uh, customize how we do our collection effort, uh, which was kind of all over the place. We have uh, two of us do it, and it's um, it's helped us quite a bit. And we were not expecting that in 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 in, um, in the software at all, but it's it's proven to be very useful and very productive. All right, wonderful. Um, I'm going to shake it up a little. We're going to go with Karen, and we'll have Debbie go last. Um, well, in terms of time matters, I mean, the I really like the billing, the fact that from my calendar I can create an appointment, or from my calendar I have an appointment, and I can click on a little button and enter my time. makes it very easy to capture all my time and make sure I don't miss billing for anything. Um, and that's true for my, my clients as well. But I also, uh, the calendar and it helps to keep me organized and know where we've got to be when. And the notes on the work that I've done, including all the communications and the email, um, if, if someone's not in the office, can quickly and easily see what was done. So the client calls in and maybe someone's not at their desk, but I can easily, um, but someone else is handling the call, we can easily see what went on. And we're not trying to reinvent the wheel or putting clients on hold to go find things and things like that. Also helps with being organized um, is we can store a path to the document and information about the document in Time Matters. And so if I need to go look at a document, I don't have to figure out where did someone store it. I can just go into the matter at, or the contact and pop open the document right from there. So I don't care so much if somebody stored it in the wrong place or not um, or searching around for things. I can just go right to one source and get to everything that I need to know what's going on on the file. So it really helps with being organized and knowing what's going on in the matter. All right, great. Uh, Debbie? So uh, I'm going to address this question a little bit differently because, again, yes, I do use PC Law in my own practice, but it's not really what's important. It's how my clients use the program. Um, I think that, again, you know, the program was written for lawyers or any any actual service industry that bills by time. Um, I think that the, uh, the true, um, what makes it work best for a lawyer is the ability to have all of the financial, all of the calendaring, all of the contacts, everything right at their fingertips when they open up a particular uh, matter, as it's called in PC law or a case. And um, with the new features of the dashboards, uh, law firms can look at this information in, in several different ways. And I think 
what we want to do is try to make lawyers more efficient so that they can spend time making money. Um, everybody's in the business of, of law, although they may love the law, the bottom line is that we're, they're in this to make money. And so the software enables those lawyers to spend less time on timekeeping, less time on calendaring, um, less time on note taking, and the ability to share that within a firm. So I think having the practice management features combined with the billing and accounting is what makes the package so strong and so useful for a law firm. All right, wonderful. Our next question for this session is, um, does, this soft, does the software you use help you do anything that you were not expecting? And if so, what is that? Um, Debbie, I'll, I'll go ahead and kick it off with you again. So sorry. Okay. So again, I think I'm going to go back to something that I mentioned before. Um, you know, I've worked with hundreds of law firms installing PC Law and other applications, and one of the things that you find is that when someone does this software, um, when they go and they do their search for a piece of software, they typically have in mind expectations. Uh, they want to improve their billing. Maybe they have electronic billing requirements. Maybe they have accounting requirements. Maybe they have calendaring needs. They want to share it someplace outside of Outlook. Whatever those needs might be, I find that what happens with the firm is they make that purchase based upon those original expectations. And what ends up happening is as time goes on, they realize that there are components included in the total solution that they didn't expect to have or utilize. And some of those components are the reporting. So there is no question that, you know, as they realize, hey, it is important how my uh, timekeepers are spending their time. How much of their time am I able to bill? What do I have to write off? What is their non-billable time? How much are they spending on CLE credits? Um, so I think that it's those productivity reports that although you, the client ex thinks they're going to get those, over time it's those reports that provide them with the information that they weren't expecting. So, um, you know, most of the my firms that go into PC Law go in with their eyes open knowing what the requirements are and I often find over time it's those that additional reporting that they get that is a feature that they perhaps did not expect. You know, I think that's a fabulous point, um, yeah, because a lot of the time you don't know you need something until you need it all of a sudden. So I'm glad it's able uh, to solve that. Karen, uh, do you have any, any um, anecdotes like that, or can you tell us um, a little bit more about what uh, features that you utilize that you weren't expecting or something the software does that, that you weren't planning on? Ms. Karen, you might be muted if you're talking. Oh, sorry. I'm back. I think Debbie made some very good points, and I think also one of the the, it's the things that are important is how do my clients use it. Um, what I when I when a client comes to me and asks me about picking a practice management software, one of the things I suggest they do is not only think about their wants and needs, but think about what are their pain points and what's really hard to do in their office, or what are they you know struggling with, and even if and I often find that once they do that, we start talking about how the package like Time Matters can help them, and they're always amazed by all the capabilities it has to help with the different things, like finding the information that they need, um, and being able to get their hands on something and know when an appointment is. Um, and you can do things like build calendar templates so that when you put X on a calendar, it will also put three reminders and two other tasks that you have to do before that court date automatically. So you don't have to be going back and re-putting those processes on or remembering everything each time. Um, I often walk into somebody who has been using Time Matters for a little while and say, what's hard for you? Not necessarily with the software, but where in the office are you finding a block or something that's taking more time than you think it should be? 
and we find lots of ways to address that within Time Matters. Um, by doing a customization, by setting up a list of appointments or even a checklist for them that can then be used to manage a specific type of case. And I think people are always surprised by the power and how many of the things that are issues within the firm can be made more efficient um, and problems removed or, or significantly reduced by the use of Time Matters. All right, fabulous. Uh, and Catherine? Well, um, you know, we've been with Juris for such a long time. When we first decided to go to Juris, it was strictly a, you know, time and billing system. And, you know, how do you get the time in? How do you get the bills out? Um, and reporting on that at that level at that time was, you know, kind of in the backside. Um, we looked at the financial side and we, you know, were able to print, you know, financials and as technology has changed and the product has evolved uh, significantly, your Windows comes in and then Jura Suite comes in. We use Jura and we use Jura Suite together. Um, the one thing that we um, that we do that we were never expecting was the reporting side that it has. We were never able to uh, create our own reports only through access, which was not the most easiest thing, or through pivot tables or through Excel. Now with Jura Suite and Active Information, you're able to copy a report that Juris has set up and just, you know, design it your own way, do what you need to do with it, and it's yours forever and you can run it on the fly. So it was the, for us, it was the reporting side that uh, we were really not expecting. Uh, and also the, the uh, on the billing end, although it's very basic, uh, the ability to filter and control billing before you start the process so that your pre-bills go out almost perfect to the attorneys and your, you know, your bills are out and done within a week of the next month, which you know, was something we were never able to do on the outset maybe 10 days into the next month. So for us that's a very important feature of the system because the faster those bills go out, the quicker you pay. And then if you have issues, it's easier to collect. It's all like, you know, a domino effect. That was something that, you know, we're very pleased with. Wonderful. Yeah, and it sounds like the reporting features are, are key in just setting up those tasks so it, it's easy for everyone. Wonderful. Uh, well, it's yeah, it's easy. It's not that easy. It's easy. It's just that you have to know the reports that you need. I mean, there's hundreds of reports, some of which I've never even opened. You know, it depends on your practice and what your partners want to look at. What is it? How do they? How do they? You know, look at their 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 law firm. How do we make money? What are the tools that we can use for our accounting system that will help us plan, hire? You know, do all of those things that make the business flourish because it is a business. Um, and lawyers are not used to that, which is why one of the things I like is that I can put two of our, you know, our management committee into the Jura system and they can look at reports. We know we tell them what to look at and they can run them anytime and it has helped tremendously. You know, on the accounting side sometimes um, need a little help. Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Um, so now we'll talk about, you know, how we got our products kind of set up and, and working in the firm and operational. So, Catherine, how was that process for you? Um, I relied on Jura support since day one um, and have not had an issue. They have every time there's a new product or when we first, obviously, it was, you know, when you go from one time, one billing system to another, that process is, is major. But even when Juris went from DOS to Windows, which was an incredible switchover, we relied on Juris totally and still do to this day. So for me, my assistance has always been with Juris. My support has always been with Juris. All right, wonderful. Now, I know that's a little different for some of the other products. Um, yes. I'm going to... <laughs> Who was that? I'll go with uh, whoever just spoke. I think it was Debbie. I'm sorry, it wasn't me, but I'm happy to come oh. in. Yes. 
Uh, Go ahead. No worry, no worry. <laughs> No worry, no worry. Uh, yes, it is quite different for PC law. Um, as you're aware, LexisNexis um, does not provide installation and um, support services when you first buy the product. Um, they have introduced a new feature that's called, um, I, I forget what it's called. It's, uh, it helps you install the product and just get yourself started. Um, what I want to say about that is I find that my clients who use the package most successfully are the ones that have used consultants like myself uh, to help them configure and install the product properly. Um, because yes, it's quite simple to just install the product on your computer, follow the prompts from the email that you get, but what is most important about installing it is making sure that all of your settings are correct, that the system is going to operate in the way that the firm anticipates it will, whether it be setting up the templates, whether it be establishing retainer accounts, whether it be um, it, it, you know, how your accounting is going to work, how are you going to account for your client costs. And I find that um, firms do need assistance on this, and that's really what my services provide. So again, you know, you're asking me to comment on a service I provide, I think it's a very necessary service and I find that those installations that use consultants like myself are the ones that are most successful. All right, great. Uh, Karen? Um, well, again, I'm very similar to Debbie. I am a consultant on the product. Um, what I would say is that while it's very easy to install the software, the value you will get from it depends on the value you put into it. And by the use of a consultant, you more quickly can figure out how to get the most value because they, can, they know how to customize it. We know how to uh, ask the right questions and set things up so that they're done right the first time. You know, if you look, if you as an attorney look at your billable rate or the work involved in by other people in the office, and figure out, yes, you may be able to figure this out yourself, but how many hours are you going to invest versus someone who has the knowledge and experience and is going to help you do it right the first time? That's where I think the real value of consultants can come in, um, in making sure you're doing things right, getting it set up properly so that it works for you and you're not spending a lot of time, you know, fussing with it. Also, if it's up and running quickly and customized for you the way you want fast, you're going to actually start using it. If it ends up being a six month or a year process because someone's doing this in their spare time, people are going to tend to lose interest in using the product. Um, I think one of the things, you know, you've, you hear in the comments that all three of us have made is that there are three good products there that can meet the needs of law firms. And the law firms need to decide what their needs are and which product is right. Um, you know, Lexus offers multiple solutions and it's a question of really looking at the solutions and figuring out which one is right and then how best to get there. And consultants are really good at you know helping with that because we've got the knowledge and ability to give you um, that kind of advice and we've, because we've worked with other law firms, each law firm is somewhat different, but we can bring a big picture to it. All right, wonderful. Now we're going to get to a, a little bit of a tougher question before we get into kind of our tips and tricks section. Um, you know, what is your experience with getting product assistance? I know there are some challenges, and I'd love to hear, you know, your challenges and the, and the way you guys solve for those. Uh, let's start with you, Karen. Well, um, the support from Lexis for Time Matters sometimes is great and other times is not as good, um, especially when a new version comes out and they're a little bit, maybe a little overwhelmed with people who are trying to do things on their own and get help. Um, cons most of my clients will call support if there's something that they think is just not working as designed, but generally speaking, they will call me and let me be uh, their interface and help them with resolving the problems because I know their environment 
and can work more specifically to that environment. Also, sometimes what is not working for them is just something in the way the product is designed, and I may be able to think outside of the box and help them. Support is part of what they have, but a lot of my clients don't use it. They call me. If there is something that I feel is not right, and need support, then I have the ability to call in on behalf of my client, um, and I get to a higher level of support a little more quickly, which can help to resolve the issue uh, more efficiently for the client as well. So that's the approach most of my clients take. All right, and Debbie, I'll go with you next. I'm guessing you know, there are some similarities there. Yes, um, so everybody who buys a LexisNexis product is supposed to um, participate in the annual maintenance program. That annual maintenance program, of course, provides them with access to tech support as well as web-based uh, training and any new versions that are introduced. Um, I do require that all of my clients buy their annual maintenance. However, over 90% of my clients will call me as opposed to tech support. Uh, there has been a lot of transition in the tech support department since the product was obtained by LexisNexis and um, it has been my experience that when my clients call directly they often get someone who is quite new to the process and uh, some of the answers that they get are not correct or not really what they're looking for. So my clients have enough confidence in my expertise that for most technical support issues, they're able to call me, I'm able to solve 90% of the problems. As Karen mentioned, one of the advantages to uh, being a certified independent consultant with LexisNexis is that we have access to a higher level support team, which in most cases is a more experienced group of people. Um, and so if I, if I can't answer for that small percentage that I can't solve, at least I can call and on a good day, I'm not holding for very long. I'm talking to a technician quite, quite quickly. Wonderful. And now, Catherine, I know Juris is a little bit different. Tell us about, about yes. that. Well, one of, the, um, one of the strong points that has always been one of, uh, with Juris was their uh, support. There was no question the people that, uh, before Lexus came, in, Lexus Nexus came into the picture, the people that wrote this program, the people that worked at Juris knew the product inside and out. So when you were calling support, you were not dealing with someone who was reading from a script. Um, obviously, when Lexus came into play, um, there was a rocky period where you were getting people, and we, we knew more about the product than the people who were answering the phone. That has definitely changed uh, over, over time. But if I have an issue with support, there's two new things that are going on. One, I just escalate the call. I, I, I escalate it. I, I want to speak to a second or third level engineer because I, I know that the person on the other end is not familiar with my issue. Um, but now with the tiered service that Juris is offering, I can call basic support for just stuff that I need, which I don't too much anymore, and now go to a much higher level to begin with. So it becomes very easy for me to have problems solved quicker with people who have been with Juris and are still with Juris, so to speak, um, and who really know the product um, and know the back end of the product, which is where at this point in time we are at, you know, how to do something or how to, you know, do an, a, a payable or how to do something that's very basic is one thing. But when you get issues with computers or servers or something happened and it's not, you know, you know right away where you have to go and how, who you have to talk to to get it resolved. So for me, and I speak for myself, working with jurists all these years, it's, I really, the support is the one thing that has, you know, one of the things other than the product itself that has kept us with jurists because it has been a very consistent part of their product. All right, wonderful. Um, our next question is going into, you know, kind of what are your best tips and tricks and best practices for using the software? 
And uh, this one's, you know, going to be probably our longest question that will, um, you know, that you guys will answer. So if someone, you know, says something that works for you, feel free to jump in as well. Um, but we'll go ahead and start uh, with Catherine as your tips and tricks might be a little different. Well, um, I don't know. I, I, tips for using the software. I mean, <clears throat> one of the things that I did, I set up here was, for, for me, um, having people, you know, we're, we, I only have two people in billing, myself, and then I'm obviously the firm administrator, and I have my, you know, bookkeeper. So I decided to divvy up the product among them so that the bookkeeper handles the financial, well, the payable side and the collection side now, basically. Two people do the billing, and they've become very um, adept at using the product. They know it well. Um, at, we work on both sides. We work both on the core side and the Jura Suite side. So some of, and some of the practices that we use for filtering and for pulling out reports it's very hard to describe, but uh, our, our practice is to try to get the information out in the most uh, quickest and efficient and accurate way possible. Um, it's really on the reporting side. I can't, it's very difficult to say, you know, tips. I think it's getting good people to use the product and to get to know it and to get them trained properly so that they understand the product from the floor up, you know, how to enter a client, I mean, at that level, and start working your way up. They have interaction here with the attorneys directly, so it's very important. You know, billing to me is probably, accounting is the most important thing in a law firm because it's the first thing that the client sees. And if there's an issue, it's the first complaint we hear and it goes right to the attorney. So the billing side here for me is very important. That things that bills and that reports go out properly, accurately, and efficiently. Um, it's taken time and it's taken years of work to do it, uh, and so it, it evolves every day. Every time there's a new upgrade, every time there's a new technology that comes out that affects the program, uh, it's a never-ending work in process. Definitely understand that. <laughs> you learn something new every day, right? Every day. Every day. <laughs> All right. Fabulous. Uh, let's go to Karen. Um, I think one of the th I think the key thing that Catherine said in there was training. Training is so important, and you have to revisit the training. Um, I have walked into a firm where somebody was trained by somebody that was trained by somebody that was trained by somebody. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they are doing things in an inefficient way because maybe the features have changed over the years and nobody ever knew about the new feature. Um, there's an old joke I'd like to tell about you know a woman who is making a, a ham for the first time and she's cutting the bone on the ham. And her husband says, why are you doing that? It seems like a lot of work. Well, that's the way my mother always did it. And he asks his mother-in-law, and his mother-in-law says, well, that's the way my mother always did it. And he asks the mother, the grandmother, and she says, well, I never had a big enough pot. And it's the way some firms operate. They start doing things in a certain way, and they never change. And so the value of re-looking at how you are doing things as new features and functions come out to see if there is perhaps a better way that you could be doing something is really important. And the only way that I really know of to do that is by either spending a lot of time re-looking at what's in the product and how it works, or taking a fret or getting training from someone who is very familiar with those areas of the program. So I think that's really important. Um, there are, in Time Matters, there are so many features. Nobody, no firm that I know of uses all of the features, uh, including myself. But knowing which features are important to your firm lets you make the right choices so that you can work in the best environment and get the best um, value out of the program. Um, not being afraid of it, but 
you know, learning to use it and to use it right, I think, is really what's, you know, how you can really do the most with um, any software package, whatever you decide to use. All right, great. Then Debbie? So I think, you know, one of the things that was said first that is the most important thing, Karen reiterated, it is training. It's how the package is installed. It's how people start on it. Um, do they utilize it properly? The money that's invested in the beginning, getting the proper training and installation, pays for itself multiple folds Absolutely. over time. And if, if you do it right the first time, then things are going to work and the firm is going to grow with the software. Um, I think Karen's point about revisiting training, having someone come in and you know, talk to the firm after they're installed uh, perhaps a year, maybe even six months, and saying, OK, well, how are things going and what are your pain points? What are you missing? What is the information you're not getting? And having that outside set of eyes is always so important. It's, it's like solving a, a very difficult math problem. I happen to be a numbers person, clearly. So you look at something and, and you can't reconcile, and you've looked at it for hours. You put it down, you come back, oftentimes you find your error right away. It's the same idea in a law firm. You know, here these people are struggling with perhaps a very good point is collections. Collections, you know, lawyers are notorious for having lots of receivables. Have someone take a new fresh of fresh pair of eyes, look at it and say, you know what, the problem is not so much your collection, but the problem is in your bills. Maybe your bills aren't presented clearly enough. Maybe, who, who knows, it could be a hundred things. But having that outside person come in and take a look is just invaluable. And again, you can't get complacent with what you have. And firms that are growing don't have the time to be complacent. They need someone working with them all the time. And um, that, that's what really helps things work better. All right, wonderful. Well, that is the end of our questions for our panel discussion session. Um, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to you, Annie. And first off, uh, let me also just say thank you so much to all of our panelists. And I hope that this provided some good insights for using the software, maybe solving for some challenges. Um, and, and uh, a holistic view of uh, our software. Annie? Well, that concludes today's webinar. And I would like to thank all of our customer panelists again for all of your very valuable input and to all of our attendees for taking time out of your busy day to join us.